I'm Craig Kenneth, a relationship coach and a psychotherapist. Every relationship is different and every breakup is different. Work with me and you'll get professional help on your situation. Just click on the link in the description below or go to my website, AskCraig.net. Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about getting through the storm. Well, the reason that I wanted to do this video for you guys today is because I know there are literally hundreds of thousands of you guys out there that are watching the videos every day and you're going through a hard time. And I know how you guys look so forward to new videos and talking to me and doing coachings with me and I see it every day. And so I think about where you guys are at and what it's like to go through those dark times because I've been there. And I haven't shared all of them with you guys in the videos, but I've shared numerous ones, obviously, even talking about my early childhood and my mom and dad splitting up at less than two years old and dad leaving and my mom having tremendous amounts of anxiety, having anxiety my whole life and not even knowing about it. And many of you guys out there have anxiety and you've had it your whole life or depression and you've had it your entire life and you've had no idea. And you've come to my channel and all of a sudden your whole life changes. And it seems kind of silly to think that watching somebody on YouTube really can change your whole world. But I've had so many incredible experiences with you guys that I realized how possible that is and how I never really expected to have such a huge impact on you guys but the emails I get from you are absolutely amazing and you know I know that you're going through this period in your life where you may not want to wake up you are depressed all the time you are sick to your stomach you're losing weight uh, you don't want to see your friends or family. I know all of those things because I've lived them and I've done them. And that's what motivated me to do so much, to learn these things and to just put out as much content for you guys as I can. Because I remember waking up at 6 o'clock in the morning in cold sweats, running to the bathroom and sitting on the bathroom like, why is this happening, right? And many of you guys are going through that yourself. And I can tell you that it does get better. I know it doesn't feel like it will get better, but it will. And it really was difficult for me to even see that. I remember one of my good friends telling me, you know, how you feel today, the problems you have today will be completely different a year from now. And I couldn't see it, right? It was really, really hard at certain points in my life to see that. But now, having gone through all these things, and believe me, I feel like all of the things that happened to me in my life happened for a reason. You know, for me, that, that was my purpose, was to teach you guys this stuff. And today's video, it's a little bit different, okay? Because you guys are always asking me for success stories. And believe me, I can't get to them all. I just cannot because there's so many. But I, what I did today is I got a bunch of little ones that normally wouldn't have made it into a video because they're maybe just too short or whatever. So I grabbed a bunch of little ones to share with you guys. And I thought it would help encourage you to see that there are a lot of people out there that do get their ex back or they do change their world around and their life around because we may not be able to get your ex back but what we can do is change your life that's a guarantee you can do that see you if you put your success based on whether or not you get somebody back that's not a real success in my book. When I see somebody tell me how their entire life has changed and they're doing so much better for themselves, that to me is the ultimate success. And getting your ex back is just part of that. And 
the thing is, is that even if you don't get that person back, with everything that you're learning, you're going to get somebody just as amazing, if not even more amazing. And I know you are thinking, I don't care about more amazing, but, you know, that's not always in your hands. Sometimes it's not. But, obviously, I know how important it is to you. So, I will do whatever, everything that I can. And Margaret will certainly do everything that she can to help you in those situations, right? So, I got some... Some of these are just super quick emails. But I thought, you know what? I don't often get to share these. So, I went through a bunch of my emails and just said, let me share these today, okay? So, let me just go through a couple of them, okay? So, this one just says, Hi, Craig. Many thanks for the wonderful reply. You're incredible and unstoppable. God connects people. You are so kind. Keep smiling. So, I really appreciate those kind words. And Margaret and I are certainly focused on doing everything that we can to put out incredible information for you guys. Uh, this one says, Today's video after the breakup with Margaret was the best video. Thank you once again. One million thank yous. You and Margaret are leaders, international leaders, and your wisdom is shared unselfishly. Great role models and inspiration. So thank you for those kind words. I really do appreciate that, and I know Margaret does too. And I do often forward little emails like that to her. This one says, Craig, you're very good at what you do. Thank you for making our call so easy and relatable today. Appreciate your guidance and hope it helps me reattract my ex. Immediately after ending our Skype session, I recognize that the coaching to create and maintain attraction will help in any relationship, so a good life lesson either way. I will keep you updated on my success. I have a few more to go through with you guys, and I do hope that you appreciate these little emails too, because there are a lot of people that email me behind the scenes and they don't always make it into a video and thought, well, let me try a little something different for you guys. This one says, Hi Craig, I watched the video. Please thank... Oh, now, oh, let me... Okay, let me backtrack. This one is an update from the video I did a few days ago. We had the friendship talk. And they, they sent a little reply to seeing that email, or the video. Hi, Craig. I watched the video. Please thank Margaret for her input. I felt she was ready to slap me. Haha. <laughs> well deserved, anyway. I talked to the woman and came clear. clear. She said, I already knew you couldn't see me as a friend. And I was like, yeah, but you were not listening, and neither was I. Fast forward the same day. We went to a party with some friends because it was my birthday. Happy birthday, by the way. It was just a couple days ago, I'm guessing. She was not that drunk and suddenly decided to kiss me. She said, rolling her eyes. Craig laughs really hard in the distance. I get a WTF face. Didn't fall for her game. I decided to ignore the incident. Anyway, I guess it's not over yet, but what you said in the video resonated with me. I am not expecting a thoughtful answer. I just wanted to share with you so we could laugh along about it. I will keep watching and hopefully get a Skype sometime soon. It was from the video, We Had the Friendship Talk. All right, so I got another short email here that says, Coach, I wanted to thank you for all your help. I'm not sure if this is the correct email, but it seems it's the only way to contact you, so hopefully it is. Coach, I met an amazing woman, and it's going wonderful. We took it slow. As a matter of fact, I wasn't even looking at the time and I, that I was introduced to her. A mutual friend of ours set us up. Anyway, I did the work as you suggested. I even took a year off to work on myself. My confidence is up. I'm in a healthy place and happy even before I met my now girlfriend. We've been dating for five months. Our communication is open. She doesn't try to control or change me. And by the grace of God, she's not clingy. She's a confident, intelligent, funny, and beautiful woman. 
and I feel completely myself around her. And she even told me that being happy and confident attracted her to me. Anyway, thank you again for all your help. I continue to learn from you. You are definitely the Yoda of relationships. If you want to share this, please do. Guys, there is hope. You can either make it back to your ex or find someone so much better. So that's a great success story. He, I guess, has been working on himself for over a year now. And so he must have came on the channel a long time ago. By the way, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It takes you five seconds. You'll know when the videos come out right away. You can help me grow the channel and share the videos with your friends and family. I never ask because I always forget I'm so busy figure, you know, teaching you stuff. But it's great when you guys share the content with the people in your lives and I always appreciate it. All right. Got a couple more here. They say, Craig, please, please, please share this email. I've been listening to you for, and Margaret for months now. I can say that what you teach is nothing short of incredible. You both are an amazing team, and I can only hope more relationships fail so people can find your work. Well, unfortunately, many people are kind of stubborn and not really focused on self-improvement until they go through a breakup. But I always try and be proactive, and hopefully you guys are too with your friends and family that Maybe if you see something going on in their life, you share a video that you think will help them. They said, Craig, there are a lot of people on the internet that give misleading information about their experience and their background. Can you please educate people that there is no such thing as a love doctor? It's an insult to all the hardworking professionals out there like yourself and they are lying to people and hurting, that are hurting and desperate for help. No, there is no such thing as a love doctor. <laughs> uh, I don't know who calls themselves love doctor. Um, never heard of them. Honestly, uh, I used to look many, many years ago online for all kinds of information while I was putting everything together. But at this point, I barely have time to keep up. Okay, I, I'm so busy doing the Skypes all day long, then doing email coachings and figuring out what to do topics on and film and edit and upload and all that stuff takes me a lot of time. So I don't really have time to look at uh, anything else that's going online. Um, I just kind of stay in my lane and focus on helping you guys. Um, I'm sure there are many dishonest people out there. Um, or people that are taking advantage. Guys, all I could tell you is, you know, if it sounds too good to be true, then it just might be. Um, if they're selling you magic beans, you know, um, I don't like to uh, focus on the negative stuff like that. All I like to do is focus on what Margaret and I bring to the table. But um, I rarely mention this, so... Um, yeah, people do exploit other people, and that goes for just about any area in life, right? They go on to say this a little bit more. I have found people who brag about a bachelor's degree in psychology or calling themselves a coach, but when I follow, ask follow-up questions, they admit they have zero training or certification in any way. Okay, um, yes. A bachelor's degree in psychology really doesn't teach you a lot, and anybody that has a bachelor's degree in psychology knows that. Um, it doesn't teach you the clinical stuff that a licensed professional would have, or a professional. In other words, you need more than a bachelor's degree to do any kind of therapy in any of the related fields. You need a minimum of a master's degree. That is true. Uh, I don't know who you're talking about, about the bachelor's degree, but usually, unfortunately, most people that have a bachelor's degree in psychology wind up in like HR, in like human resources for a company or something like that. Not knocking it. I have a bachelor's degree in psychology too. You know, obviously I was doing that before I got my master's and everything else. 
Please spend a moment to tell everyone about the different areas of psychology, behavior analysis, psychiatry, and psychology, versus you and Margaret with the psychotherapy. Okay, I have never really talked about this before, so let me just take a moment to explain this real quick, because I do realize not many of you guys understand the differences. There are a lot of differences, okay? As far as, okay, let's go down the line here. Behavior analysis. You don't necessarily even need a bachelor's degree to do behavior analysis. Some behavior analysts only have an associate's degree. They don't understand any of the uh, insight that I teach, okay? They're not trained in anything like that. Behavior analysis is very basic stuff. I did behavior analysis before I had my uh, master's degree and actually I got kind of bored with it after several years because it's very very basic stuff. Um, don't get me wrong, there are some you know people with doctorates that do behavior analysis that do some really good research stuff but many people can get hi hired on as a behavior analyst with just an associate's degree so they don't have any kind of master's level training, okay? Some of them do, but you don't need one, okay? So there's a big difference. As far as psychiatry, they are doctors, and psychiatrists are the ones that prescribe the medication. So if you are depressed or anxious, you could go to a, a doctor, but you could also get go to a psychiatrist who would specialize in understanding medication, right? And medication for anxiety, depression, and all the other things that go along with that stuff, right? Psychology, uh, or psychologists, focus primarily on testing. And so you would go for them for if you wanted some kind of testing or evaluations done. And the the psychotherapists or mental health counselors focus on the actual counseling stuff. So they are primarily the ones that do the talking, the talk therapy, right? That is primarily a mental health counselor or that a lot of people can call themselves a coach. You don't have to have any kind of certification, any kind of anything to call yourself a coach. Um, so just be careful and hopefully understanding the differences in the field um, might even help you if you're trying to figure what what to do locally like if you want a therapist locally you want to look for like a mental health counselor uh, possibly a social worker there are some really good social workers out there Margaret is a social worker um, maybe a marriage and family therapist for um, would be good locally too. Like I said, if you're looking for medication, you want to go to a psychiatrist, and testing would be psychologist. Behavior, behavior analysts typically work with children or adults that may have some impairments. Um, so that's where they tend to be. They don't do like counseling or anything like that. Um, so that hopefully will give you a little bit of a background to what the mental health field is like. All right, I have two more emails to get through with you guys today. And I just really want to reiterate that I know how hard it is to get through your situation. And, you know, Margaret and I are always trying to encourage you guys, no matter how bad things look, they will get better. And even if your ex says to you that they never want to see you again, they're not interested. Oh, and I keep forgetting to tell this little story. I did a Skype coaching with a guy uh, last week, and we've done a few together. Actually, I think we have another one scheduled for this week or next. He had an ex come back from four years ago, and they wound up hooking up on the first date. And now, She's totally interested in him. She wants to work it out. She's apologizing to him. The problem is he's hung up on a new ex. And this ex came back while he was trying to get over the other ex. But the thing is, is he's like, Craig, 
This woman, we were engaged. She ended it. She didn't want anything to do with me. She said, I'll never talk to you again. I'm never going to date you again. She was cold. Four years later, she's back. So, you guys, I'm telling you, you never know what's going to happen. Even though it feels like it won't change, situations change all the time. And a lot of times, your situation isn't even as bad as it feels. Believe me, I know that because when I'm hearing certain situations, I'm like, oh, this situation isn't even that bad. And even though it feels that bad. And believe me, it looks that bad. And, you know, six, seven years ago, or whenever I was in that situation, I would feel that bad too, because I didn't understand. But now that I see how things play out, there's always lots of surprises. And so, even for those of you guys that think it's never going to happen, it could happen. I'm not saying that you should wait or put your life on hold, because I don't know, unless we're individually talking about it, but, you know, I see situations that look hopeless turn around all the time. So, this email says, uh, Today I want to share my success story, unconventional. When my girlfriend of two years broke up with me, I literally fell apart. I went through different channels on YouTube about getting an ex back, and then I finally came to this great channel. Honestly, only being a student... I couldn't pursue any kind of coaching with you. But I went through all your videos for the past three months. Some videos several times. I finally managed to walk towards the road of success. I have found a new job. Earlier, most of the time of my day, I used to think about her and literally be sad all the time. Thanks to all your information, I came to know about all my negativities. I spent almost a week looking at what I was doing wrong, made a list of my negative and positive qualities, identified how my insecurities triggered my controlling behavior, which in turn provoked my anger, which leads to rude behavior and anger. I'm spending my extra time in personal development. I picked up a new hobby, reading about psychology. Becoming more aware when and how my anxiety triggers in order to control them, I am getting be better from all day thinking about her and missing her hardly at all sometimes. No, she has not reached out until now. I don't know whether she will or not. But as Coach said in his videos, if you do the work, no matter what, you're going to be a success story. Thanks, Coach. I am from India, and you can share it if it inspires only, if it only one person, it's worth it. All right. Thank you for sharing that story, and um, I'm glad to see that you're feeling a lot better, regardless of what is happening with your ex. I've got one more email to share with you guys today, and they said, Hi, Craig. Just thought I'd give you an update on my situation, as it's been a weird couple of months. I'm happier than I've been for a while. Since our last email in late November, I went on a date with my new girl. My ex kept limited contact with me, texting me once every five days or a week. And then she gradually started showing interest again, and sent me a photo that she'd once taken of me telling me how handsome I looked. Yeah, it sounds like she's pretty interested, huh? She also suggested we'll have to meet up one day. It felt weird her trying to act like she was interested again. Your advice is completely correct in my situation. Time and patience really does seem to reap benefits. However, I am now currently seeing this new girl and I went on a date with her, and I stopped feeling desperate to get back with my ex and begin to like this new girl. I only initially went out on the date with her because I thought, why not? And that it might make me feel more confident and stop being so fixated on getting her back. But lo and behold, I, fa I found I did really like this new girl. 
Anyway, earlier in the month, I did end up meeting with my ex in person, which I thought there wasn't in any harm in doing since technically this new girl wasn't my girlfriend. My ex felt like a completely different person. She was so polite and kind, like when we first met. A total contrast to the argumentative and stubborn girl with a victim mentality that, that I saw before we broke up. It's so funny how people appear so different after time apart. We got intimate and kissed a few times. She said how she'd miss things and talked rather fondly of our past rather than bringing up bad times. And she suggested we meet up again. <laughs> However, I've made the decision to just drop her since I'm seeing this new girl and I don't think that would be fair. I thought I was over my ex but I still do look at her photos now and again and my heart kind of sinks because she's so beautiful and I know I would get jealous if she was seeing someone else. I do sometimes still wonder what it'd be like to get back with her but I really do like this new girl and don't want to throw that all away. Anyway, just thought you might be interested in a success story in some aspects. Your advice really does work. Well, thank you so much for everybody that shared those uh, success stories. And, you know, I love to hear success stories from you guys. And you can always submit them on my website. When you feel like you have a success story, whatever it is, because every success is different for each of you, share them with me. Because when you're going through this hard time, it feels so good to know that things are going to turn around and see that these people were all in your shoes, including myself. And we turned it around, and you can turn it around too. And, and so I just wanted to share these because it's nice to see some positive things sometimes to realize that you're going to get through this. And even though you may not feel like you are, you will. If you want to talk to me, that is why I'm here. And you can always get my help personally at AskCraig.net. I do email coachings. I do Skype coachings. If you have to get with me right away, I do offer the emergency Skype coachings. And definitely consider doing a Skype coaching with Margaret too. She is amazing. Okay? Absolutely amazing. And you will absolutely love talking with her as well. And so I hope that these little positive stories helps you feel a little bit better, even if it's just for a little bit, because I remember what it's like to go through what you're going through. But, um, you know, my help personally, just go to my website, AskCraig.net, sign up for the coaching option that works best for you. I'm Coach Craig Kenneth, and I will talk with you soon.